Hello, wonderful family. Another good day, another glorious day, and another wonderful, wonderful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today, I just want to ask one question. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? Yes, you. What's your name? Is that uh, Emeka? Yes. Or Chinedu? Or Frank? Or Uche? Or Mary? Or Tamana? Whose report will you believe? You know there are just two reports based on the word of God. You have the report of the Lord and what the Bible calls an evil report. The report of the Lord is that which the Lord says concerning the matter. The report of the Lord does not have to tally with what you're seeing. Most times it might, it just might not tally with what you're seeing. So it will confound your senses. And if you stick with the report of the Lord, that is the truth. That is the truth. And it will come to pass. Now, on the other hand, the evil report is the report usually of the senses. What is obvious? What is seen? What is felt? What is heard? This report also, if you stick with it, will come to pass. Even though in the scheme of things, according to the word, is a lying vanity. So, if you choose the report of the Lord and stick with it, it will come to pass. But if you choose an evil report and stick with it, it will come to pass too. The choice is yours. God gave us that choice. He said, choose this day whom you will serve. Choose whose report you will believe. It's very explicit in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 1. Say, whose report will you believe? And to whom will the arm of the Lord be revealed? His arm of salvation. If you choose his report, like I said, that report usually will go against everything you're seeing, everything you're hearing most of the time. But if you stick with his report, it will change everything you're seeing and everything, everything you're hearing. On the contrary, the report, the, an evil report tends to stimulate the eyes, the ears, the, 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 the tongue or the, the taste buds or your, your, your sense of touch. It has its it functions in this realm of the sense, the sensory realm. It appeals to your senses. It looks true. It appears true. That is what actually you're seeing or you're hearing or you're feeling. That is usually the evil report, particularly when it goes against the report of the Lord. You are enjoined in scripture not to stick with, the, with, with an evil report. The children of Israel listened to an evil report that was provided by the ten spies out of 12 that went to spy out uh, the, the, the promised land. And what did they get? 40 years of toil and eventual death or death. They died in the wilderness for believing the evil report. What does scripture teach us concerning the evil report? He says, Jesus overhearing and ignoring. The, the, the disciples of Jairus came back with an evil report telling Jairus, the, the, the facts has appeared to their eyes, has appeared to their ears, has appeared to the senses. Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the master any further. What did Jesus do? He heard that same report. But did he act on it? No. He overheard and ignored. And instead enjoined or cautioned Jairus to stop being afraid, but only believe the report of the Lord. Keep believing the report of the Lord. A lot of things will come to challenge that report of the Lord. It will be showing you things obvious to your senses. Are you stupid? Are you crazy to believe the report of the Lord when this is overt? This is evident. But your own evidence, the evidence of the report of the Lord is inside your heart. Your belief. That's what connects it. Hooks it from the realm of the spiritual and draws it into the physical realm. Whose report will you believe? I want to call your names again or your name again. Mercy, whose report will you believe? Tina, whose report will you believe? Michael, whose report will you believe? Will you believe the report of the Lord? 
or will you believe the evil report? Whichever you believe, it will become a reality in your life. But if you choose to believe the report of the Lord, it will change whatever you're seeing. It will change whatever you're feeling. It will change whatever you're tasting or whatever you're hearing. It will conform and become what the Lord has reported. God bless you. Hallelujah.